Hey guys, this is Matt Belmer Sports. Uh, we're going to take a look at today our 1966 Chevrolet C10 short bed. Uh, this was my first uh, first truck, first vehicle I drove to high school. Uh, my grandpa bought it brand new in um, 1965, fall of 65, and and uh, I think he bought it for 2,500 bucks. And uh, my uncle learned how to drive in it. My dad learned how to drive in it. My dad, my grandma took my dad to high uh, school in it, and um, so it's got a cool little family history to it. Um, I don't really post much on it because I haven't really done much with it. With uh, just going to moving up North Carolina, going to school, and you know, getting married and everything else with life, and doing autocross and stuff like that. So really, kind of dropped the ball on it. But I'm hoping to get back in at some point here in the future so i've tried to do a video on it a vehicle profile video and uh we'll go from there all right guys so it's down here by the actually behind my parents house and by the wood line underneath a covered little shed because that's kind of the only place we have to put it right now but um and here she is um kind of got the old faded uh enamel green paint job on it um this truck was repainted I would say probably around 2003 when I was going to high school because before it was like a really, really uh, light lime, like a, not lime green, but a really light green color. Um, has some uh, rust in the hood right there and in the quarter panels, which we all fixed uh, back then and had it repainted like a, like a dark green color. I can't remember. I think it's called holly green, but of course now it's faded, so it's not as green as it used to be. But um, kind of got the faded, the faded bumpers. Got a little slight surface rust going on. I guess technically in today's terms, I'd be starting to call what we call patina, um, which is uh, a favorable aspect of these trucks now. I uh, see we've got some trees kind of starting to grow up in it, but um, got the American Graffiti uh, reproduction license plate from Milner's Coop. I was big into that movie back then, and decided to put a cool little plate on it. Um, yeah, I mean, the truck's real solid. It's got, we got 15 inch, 15 inch American Outlaw wheels on it with some BHE rubber. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this truck out for y'all guys. So we pull it behind the shed or the uh, cover right there. So we can take a better look at it right quick and give you a little bit more rundown. All right, guys, couldn't get the truck started. Fortunately, I think the battery's died and I don't feel like running to go get the battery charger at the moment, but got the hood popped open here um it's kind of dirty it was like the cats have been kind of hiding up in here a little bit i guess at nighttime and whatnot but this is um this is the 292 inline six um i think this motor actually only has i think around 10,000 miles on it because we put it in um before i drove it to high school well actually i take it back about midway through my senior, uh, junior year um, it had their, it had an original 250 inline six in it, and uh, uh, that motor has some miles on it. It was starting to smoke a little bit, and uh, so we dad bought a 292 inline six to go back in it because it was I think it's more relatively available. I think we bought it from Napa as a rebuild engine, so nothing crazy there. Still got the original toilet bowl leaky uh, one barrel there. Um, but to his credit, I mean, it gave me, it got me to high school and got me to college with no issues. I mean, other than just having <laughs> no secondaries or anything like that, um, really didn't have a lot of power, but again, it was, it was just a reliable combination and that got me place to place and couldn't complain about it really. Got the old single pill master cylinder that probably needs to be flushed out now. Like I said, everything's really solid, really solid truck. I think the heater core we got to replace that is leaking a little bit. Um, yeah, I apologize, guys. We're not building to bring it out here. Um, still has a little bit of typical Chevy rust, cancer there, like every Chevy truck this year pretty much had. Uh, but overall, overall, just faded enamel paint. Um, run a, the old step sideboards are in good shape. That was one thing that was actually. When I got when I first drove truck, those were rusted out right there, and we repaired all that. Um, got the 15 inch alloy, uh, 15 inch uh, American racing wheels on it. Uh, still got the old drum brakes on it, 
and got a 27560 15 be a true radio and those tires are pretty much brand new because i put new tires on it a while back um because original the, the original tires i had from high school were like 15 years old and they were starting to drive raw and it was scared to drive on them they were hard as bricks and so i think around i think around 2016 or so 17 I put new bhu radials on it and was planning to drive the truck more um but never got around to it of course um got the cool thing about this truck is also um it has a custom made toolbox so you will not find this toolbox on any other truck um grandpa i believe bought it back in the 60s and the original box went all the way down to the floor and of course he had it cut and shortened shortened as well and had it re-welded um and made a custom box so i mean this thing is heavy i mean um, got some old some racing bot jumper cables pump hoses and everything but i mean that's a metal that's a steel lid <laughs> um it is used for bucket storage and some old uh rim uh outer wheel hoops um from the camaro and spare tires so just threw that in the back all right guys and here's the tailgate as well and i think actually here is the original or the color original color to the truck here uh this is not original paint but it's the paint that was on it when i started driving it when dad had it and it's more like a light kind of a light green greenish color um you can tell a little bit of difference again this is faded here but it is a darker shade and uh it's just starting to peel off here um but yeah this the tailgate's in good shape turning lights bumper again the bumper has kind of surface rust kind of patina look and uh for some reason a cool little tip of the truck here that's it always right in this area here the paint's always chipped even when that when it was new the paint's chipped right here and i don't know if it's something in the metal right here in this area or what but that said it was always it always chipped first right here on these on this truck and of course it's doing it now but it gives a little bit of character to it i guess um let's see let's take a look inside the cool thing about these trucks the gas cap was right here so you know put it in here uh the problem is you know it didn't have the, the valve in it like newer cars so if you didn't watch it it would just pour out fuel <laughs> here and get y'all smelly and wet with gas and that wasn't a good thing um so the tank is actually located right behind the rear seat in these trucks here and that is the og fuel tank Let's open the door see if we can get her open here so yeah this is the original pretty much the original interior to the truck i think the door panel stuff was repainted once and i apologize guys the lighting may be a little bit bad because it's kind of dark under here but um let's see if we can adjust that i think it works here um so yeah there's the original dash put a couple autometer gauges in a long time ago in high school thinking that was pretty cool um it's got basic radio glove box seat was repultured over time and uh yeah i mean pretty much as simple as simple can get on these things no headliner basic basic truck i mean simple really simple steel door you know you definitely know when you're getting out of the truck um one cool thing i, I like about these um actually about these trucks and actually like the early like the 67 camaro and some of the early uh chevrolet cars is the vent window i really like the vent window on a hot day you can pop this baby open and get a nice little draft going and it actually works really well um of course when you didn't have ac that was all you had but you know um it worked really good um yes good old c10 emblem again it has a little bit of rust down there um let me see if I can show you under the truck. And here's under the truck here. I mean, uh, I did paint it decently back in the day with some Eastwood. And it's not it's not in terrible shape, I mean, considering. I mean, it would, pro of course, need some need some uh, clean up and re uh, restored, obviously. But um, it does have a flow master exhaust on it. That goes out here. It's got a 40 series Delta flow on the inline six. And believe it or not, that actually sounds really good <laughs> for an inline six. It's got a nice little mellow tone to it and all that good stuff. But 
So that's generally kind of the rundown of the truck, guys. Uh, this is, like I said, I'm by no means a social media specialist or a fancy video guy, so hopefully y'all like this. Um, it's just a simple old truck. One of many, of course. All right, guys, I'll do it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comment below if you got any questions on it. Um, we got plenty more videos coming up. I'm going to do a video on the 87 Silverado, my 71 Camaro, and even probably got uh, some more trucks here. Uh, my dad's uh, C30, 79 C30 square body truck. Uh, we're going to do a video on. So I'm going to try to start doing more content. Um, I'm kind of new to this, so all special effects and all that. I'm not there yet, so uh, we're just getting started. Uh, I'm going to try, like I said, during race season, I'm going to try to do more race videos and stuff like that and uh see if we can't get this thing kicked off but guys again i appreciate you watching taking time to watch it again we'll be back and uh, stay safe out there and uh i guess we'll get ready for the holidays see you guys